Libra, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, welcome to 7D Tarot. Libra, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now Libra, if there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now Libra, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your read where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, Eight of Cups. Your angels are telling you that you have to walk away from something. Audit a belief or audit a relationship. What is not paying dividends in your life? For example, what is not making you feel good? Your GPS, your emotions, which is your, your emotional guiding system, is always going to tell you how, you know, which direction your manifestation is heading in. If something feels good, your point of attraction action is manifesting something good. If something is feels bad, if you feel like you're walking on eggshells, you have to make a change, and all of a sudden every time you think of it like you have a hard time breathing or you feel like you're cringing, then you have to pivot and change course because it's the countdown to a bad manifestation. Five, four, three, you don't want that, right? So immediately listen to your guides, which is your intuition, which is your feelings, and change your, your feelings by changing your point of focus, which is your thoughts. Now you got the three cups, two of wands, ace of cups. So that's one, two, three. That's a synchronicity right there. So this, you may potentially have to walk away from somebody. Now you have the queen of pentacles, the tower, page of pentacles, queen of wands, justice, two of swords, judgment. Very interesting. Nine of cups, seven of cups, five of swords. So it's it's, it's a lot of like one foot in, one foot out energy right now. Now, Libra, your affirmation for today is I attract loving relationships. Write that down in the comment section. I attract loving relationships. Quantum entangle with this energy. Invite loving relationships. Welcome loving relationships. Let the universe know. Your angels and guides know. You attract loving relationships. Uh, command, assume, expect this energy. Write that down in the comment section. Now, I see here that you got the three of cups here. You got the eight of cups here. And you also got the two of wands here. So right now, your angels are telling you that you have to get out of your comfort zone and right now audit a relationship. Now this relationship could be with somebody or this relationship could even be with yourself. For example, right now, is there someone in your life that when you give them attention, they don't give it back? Like relationships are two way streets. You give, you get back. Energy is also like mon money, for example. So when you give money to someone, for example, when you invest in something, you expect to get paid back out. But if you keep constantly investing in something and it disappears, you know, it goes into a bottomless pit, you're going to pivot and change course. Same thing with relationships. Energy is finite, it's not infinite. It means you don't have unlimited amounts. If you're in a relationship, you have a friend and you're listening to them, when they're speaking, you're helping them, you're guiding them and you're lending them your, your, your wisdom. But then when it comes to you speaking, they don't do that back. Ask yourself, is this a two-way street? Now, this could be a romantic relationship with your spouse. Maybe they're always negative. Or even a relationship with yourself. Maybe right now, you know, you're, you're having poor self-talk, right? Maybe right now, us empaths, something we gotta work on, right? Is maybe you're having poor self-talk. But there's something here right now you gotta walk away from. When you walk away from it, you're going to feel so relieved because I do feel like this is weighing you down. This is like, it feels like this is not sustainable. And because your awareness is on either trying to save this relationship or whatever's going on here, it's actually taking attention away from other things. Because for example, again, money, energy is like money, it is finite. So you may feel like the energy you're giving to this person is just energy that you have extra. You don't, that energy is, is gone now. And that's the laws of thermodynamics. So you can't create energy out of thin air. Like for example, if you're sleepy, you can't snap your fingers and wake up, right? You gotta go to bed, you gotta take a rest, you gotta take a nap at the very least. Same thing with energy, you just, you have to use it wisely. And I do see here right now, that whoever this person is or whatever the situation is that you gotta walk away from, that this is an energy that's been lowering your frequency and creating a self-sabotage and really on top of that, an energetic roadblock and it's causing limiting beliefs and shadows because you're staying in a lower vibrational state. And right now, remember, you are part of source energy. You are part of the divine spark. You're part of a collective consciousness. God, source, your angels, guides, creator, universe, whatever name you wanna put it, has your back, wants to see you happy, wants to give you insights, downloads, and clarities. And I see here right now, the universe wants to gift you many desires when it comes to your relationships. So when you close that door, another door is going to open in its place very, very soon, immediately. Your entire purpose here is to keep a high vibration, put yourself in a fortunate or like lucky energy, which really means putting yourself in a frequency of abundance. And then the universe will gift you your desires. So. 
what can you do right now to be able to clear this energy, right? Ask yourself this. At the end of the day, everyone is on their, on their own path. If someone is not choosing to take your advice or is not listening, you cannot make them do so. For example, you have a friend who's smoking, you want, to, you want them to quit smoking, you tell them to quit smoking, but unless they're ready, they're not gonna quit smoking. And when they are ready, they are going to approach you. So everyone is on their path. Everyone's a fifth dimensional being that came to the third dimension and they chose the path they're going down because they want to feel you know, certain you know, a, a, a contrast to be able to gain experience and gain wisdom. Now, the path that they're going down may seem as if it's a path that's unnecessary to you. Like you wanna spare them the troubles of pain and anguish and you wanna share your experience and guide them. But you gotta understand that this is the path they intentionally chose. They want to learn these lessons. Like for example, if someone comes up to you and says one plus one is two, you may know what that means in concept, but unless you actually put it together and figure it out, you're not gonna really have experience and that's what's going on here. Your angels and guys are telling you that this is a time for you to understand that you are going down your path. You are meant to be around like-minded individuals, people who really understand, appreciate, and see you. If you're in a relationship, your special someone is supposed to see you, not just listen to you or just look at you, actually see you who for you are. Like when I look at my wife's eyes, Alicia's eyes, I don't just see Alicia, I see galaxies. I kid you not, I swear to God, when I look at her, I see like past lives, soul after soul. I, it, it's unbelievable, I get goosebumps thinking about her. So when I look at this, this gal, I don't see an avatar. I see like a lifetime, she used to be a samurai one time, she used to be this and this and this. And this is the energy I'm talking about. This is what awaits you. And right now when you know your worth and you don't settle, when you really understand and start putting yourself in alignment and start doing things to raise your vibration, you know, by instilling these excellent habits, then you're gonna see yourself. Then you're gonna put yourself in a high vibration. Then you're gonna value your time. So, you know, being around more like-minded individuals will make a whole lot more sense, right? So right now, focus your awareness on yourself, build these excellent habits, invest in yourself spiritually, meditation, financially, take a course, you know, physically go for a walk, do whatever it is you gotta do. And, you know, invite the energy of abundance and ask your angels and guides for help. Don't, don't feel like, you know, unless you invite them in, they can't come in because they're free will. So don't be shy, ask them in. Now your animal spirit, one of my favorites, Bambi, dear spirit, joking, right? Bring a gentle touch, but I love, love her. Look at her third eye, oh my goodness, isn't she snazzy? So right now this is about bringing a gentle touch, which really means don't try to force effort something, right? So for example, if there's something going on in your life right now and you feel like it's not effortless, really assess that situation. Like efforting something is like squeezing through a tight door frame. It's not how it's supposed to be. For example, imagine right now you are having a conversation with someone and it's just like, you're like just grinding your teeth. It feels efforted. It's not supposed to be like that. When you're in a conversation, it's supposed to flow. Or imagine right now you're working at a job where you're just looking at the clock, the seconds tick by and it seems like hours. It's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to get lost in your tasks, right? So right now ask yourself, what is going on in your life that you feel like it's efforted rather than an effortless pivot change course and just go with the flow. Now, final message from your spirit guides and look at what they say, the bigger picture. And look at that, talk about fifth dimension. All right, so right now their message to you is, there's so much more going on that meets the eye. When we, meet, when we get up in our own heads and overthink things, we miss of much of what is going around around us. You might be uh, trying to micromanage a situation that you're too focused on the small details. Try looking at it from different angles. What does this really mean? Nicholas Tesla said it best. He goes, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations. What he did not say is think in terms of stuff you can hold in your hand or touch or smell or taste. Think in terms of the mystical, spiritual, and quantum. When you want something, that want is a desire. Immediately after you want something, that's like asking for something. The universe answers. You never have to ever, ever, ever guess if the universe heard you. So if you're like, oh man, I want to be with my soulmate. Right then and there, it's been answered. The universe doesn't need a babysitter or like an answering machine. So you ask, it's answered. Immediately after that, it's the allowing stage is where the, everything gets clogged up, for example, right? What that really means is ball is back in your court. At that point, you have to allow. How do you allow? By getting out the way. How do you allow? By not causing resistance, by not having a, a, a attachment to the outcome, right? For example, say if I want to be my soulmate, I would say, universe, I invite the, uh, uh, 
uh, oh, for example, even, even what we talked about, I attract loving relationships, right? So universe, I attract loving relationships in my life. I asked, universe goes, done answered now me rather than be like when's it gonna happen how who what what where how what, what, i don't think of this what what should have happened by now all of that right that's resistance i'd be like great on my way love you all right i'm gonna go do something else and not think about it anymore that is the act of allowing it's having my vibration from a lower frequency of lack over to a neutral neutral or high vibration of just allowing by focusing my awareness on something else all right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.